founder and CEO of Golden Crust, author of The Baker's Son, a philanthropist, a father, a husband, a friend, Lowell is an a tribute icon. to Lowell Arthur. And I think that history will be kind to him and history will record all of what a young black man coming from Jamaica as an immigrant has done on behalf of the city of New York. It's a nice I want to get some flavor, but it's some lemon, the toasted lemon. I'm going to put my roasted tomato in already. Nice. Some nice Parmesan. Simmon. Okay, this week's edition now. of Inner the some Kitchen nice with celebrity well. chef Patrick Simpson features British Australian soft rock duo Ear Supply. Vegan reggae sensation Maccabee was in New York for several meets and greets, and we caught up with him in Queens at Veggie Castle. I stopped eating meat, and also I started to think about the animals and all those kind of things and what it's doing to my body. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine, and I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. His vision was to take the taste of the Caribbean to the world. We highlight Lowell Arthur's achievements and what he meant to the diaspora. Sometimes mere words cannot express the heartfelt emotions. Such is the case when it comes to discussing the untimely death of Lowell Hawthorne. I came to know him through his support of the many community ventures that he was a part of, especially CIN, the Caribbean International Network. He participated in most of the annual CIN lectures at the Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture in New York City. He cuts a very handsome figure wherever you see him. He looks as good in a tailor suit as he does in a uh, wig on undercover Sorry. boss. Thank you very much, though. Extraordinary master of ceremonies, uh, Bob. I am certainly thank you again, Stephen, for having chosen the party man to do this introduction. Therefore, I will endeavor to keep my address or my remarks short and spicy and have you longing for more, just like a golden crust party. His eloquent introductions of each year's presenters was an annual highlight. In fact, one year, Lowell was actually the keynote speaker discussing the values of entrepreneurship and community development. During his memorable presentation, he drew on his uh, autobiography, The Baker's Son, My Life in Business, where he talked about the struggles of going from a small shop to building multiple stores and the precarious nature of trying to build a business in a tough economic environment and to go where others had not gone with Jamaican product, patties, breads, cakes, etc. Wherever he went, he was an inspiration. For young people, he was a role model. For entrepreneurs, he was a mentor. Golden Cross trusted in Irish Jam 25 years ago, and that was one of my first clients, and they're still here with me today. He always, you know, whenever he and I talk, you know, I mean, it's not on, like on a daily basis though, but yeah. you know, whenever, yeah. you, like you always like, you know, for me, yeah. to look man, just sky's the limit, man, just go out there, you know? Me I team. mean, you know, it, I mean, even I go back to school thing, you know, because, listen, it create a medium for me to like, work and go to school, get a good degree and, you know, yeah. whereby, you know, I have that to fall back on, back on, back on if, 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 say, for some reason then, you know? Yes. And I'm tired of this business or something like that, which yeah. I'm not, you know? I'm, yeah. I, I enjoy being yeah. in, the, in the Golden Coast organization. For those in the community, he was a shining light as to what you can do with your resources to make the world a better place. I am enormously pleased to have everybody here celebrating the 12th annual Excellent Gala. I'm glad that you have chosen to spend this evening with us. You being here tells me you have embraced the vision of our foundation, which is to ensure that our youth is not deprived of education. It's unfortunate that every young white 
student has the privilege of a college education. So many have been held back because of economic hardship. That is the reason why this foundation has vowed to continue to do its part to ensure that more and more brilliant students like Adam Fain get the opportunity they deserve. I heard, as I said, uh, from a Golden Cross Foundation scholarship through my high school counselor, Leanne Arias, and my assistant principal, uh, Megan Williams, uh, who kind of pushed me in order to apply for a scholarship because I needed it in order to pay for my financial aid uh, as I do not qualify for the New York State financial aid. And it was uh, kind of uh, inspiring for me when I applied and I heard back one day during my community hour that I received a Golden Cross scholarship. And I was so excited because I needed it in order to pay for financial aid and not only that, books. And, uh, Metro Car. In spite of the burden of being pulled into so many directions because of his gifts and talent and charitable spirit, he always had a delightfully open personality, a smile for all, and always took the time to talk with the many who wanted to learn from his vast and deep experiences. Loyal has been a son, a friend, a confidant, I have been an encourager and a supporter from day one in the establishment of this business. And so I know the contribution he's made to the city of New York, to the United States of America, not to compare to all that he's done on behalf of the Caribbean. His leadership for the um, University of the West Indies Foundation, the many youngsters that he's educated here with his own family scholarship um, in the name of his parents. Loyal is an icon, and I think that history will be kind to him, and history will record all of what a young black man coming from Jamaica as an immigrant has done on behalf of the city of New York for the franchises that he's built. I know when somebody's a game changer um, for our people and in our, in our community, um, I think that um, Loyal will be known for just taking an idea and turning it into a dream for many, many people. He was a great friend of mine. He was a person who I could call, or anyone could call who knows him well. He was a family person. He takes care of anybody who comes to him for help. And particularly his family, his relatives. He was there for them. Lowell and I have good times. We've been on cruises. We've been to so many places that I shan't forget is one individual that this, this country will miss. As the tributes have been pouring in, many have had much to say about his kindness and his generous spirit. And I guess the words coming from the Golden Crust family best describe the legacy. And I quote, Lowell was a visionary, entrepreneur, community champion, and above all, a committed father, family man, friend, and man of faith. He will be greatly missed, and we all mourn for the family at their loss and for the Golden Crust family and for all those who know of the great spirit, Laurel Hawthorne. Welcome again to another week of In the Kitchen. kitchen. See? You don't know what Chef Patrick Simpson. And as you get this, and the vibes are always nice in the kitchen. So what I want Chef in the kitchen listen, this man. week. Listen, man. Listen, man. Good up. You're a supply man. Oh, old school. school. Old school. Love. No, we are telling me. I really think it is like a talk to ear supplies later. Yeah, man, you're gonna you have to talk to them, man. They want to be better, man. Big, 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 big things. 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 Listen, man, I'm gonna turn it up on the score. This week, as you know already, I always come with something totally different. Put some elbow and some crawfish, fettuccine with some roasted tomato. Listen, man, it's gonna be wicked.
in the kitchen. You don't know your boy already. Now yeah, change it up a little bit. Change them up. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. And then with some pepper. Make them look real nice. Alright. Some red pepper. Cut them up. Make them look real nice. That way I do. Because we want them to have a nice, I'm going to go with a little bit of scotch money pepper. A little bit of scotch money. You see me? Nice scotch money pepper. A little bit of black pepper. Simple. Keep them simple. Some garlic powder. Also go with some fresh garlic. Because you're done now already. I'm going to change them up a little bit. And then I'll go with my crawfish. Nice crawfish. You can use lobster. You can use crawfish. You can use shrimp. Alright, make it look real nice. Go with a little bit of my clarified wine butter. Nice, turn up my stove a little bit. Everything we are doing is simple and easy and you follow along. Go with my fresh thyme. I want our flavor stand out and I want the flavor stand out. My roasted tomato. I'm gonna put my roasted tomato in already. Nice. These are done marinated already with some nice Chardonnay wine. Make them look real good. And this is actually the flavor from the tomato with the wine inside of it. Alright, sell it. Come with the marinara. A little bit of marinara. Beautiful. Keep it just like that. Some nice parmesan. Keep it just like that. Nice and simple. Beautiful. The fettuccine ready. Ah. You see me? So keep in touch. And stay right here. When we come back, we're going to write into plating presentation and finish it off. Don't get it twisted. I'm from Jamaica, by the way, and we love ear, ear supply in Jamaica. Yeah, we've been there many times. It's one of our favorite spots in the world. Everybody's always been very gracious, and yeah. and uh, they love our music. You guys love our music, so it's great. How has that, that journey been? For so many years, um, touring and all of that. Well, you know, you, after a while, after as long as we've been doing it, we get into a rhythm of what you, you know what you have to do before the show. Yeah. We travel all over the world still. Um, we love, but we love our work. We love singing Graham's songs. He's over there, folks. And uh, our audiences are fantastic to us, so we're, we're motivated every night to be as good as we can be for our audience. The moment when you both step off stage into the crowd, how was that energy out here? You never know what's going to happen, yeah. and a lot of people have seen us before, so they, they know what to expect. But for those of them that haven't seen the show before, it's a great connection for us. You know, it breaks the barrier between the stage and the audience. And uh, I mean, I've seen a million acts, um, and they they perform great. But you know, I may as well st stay home and listen to the record. You know, we like to be physical with the audience and involve them as much as we can. It's always a great moment for us, and we've been doing it for many many years now. Watch this now, watch this now. Now listen to what I'm gonna say. Whatever them tell you. Now listen to the room. Now listen to the room. Now listen to the room. That's how we agree. Now we're finishing off. Right there, sir. Now we're finishing off now. Some nice virgin olive oil. Don't get it, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. That's all we do. That's all we do. In at the kitchen, your boy right here, Chef Patrick, closing off for another week. Don't get it twisted. You know what? Come chat with me.
in the kitchen. Keep it locked. Yeah man, you're watching Straight Buzz New York And you don't know, as they get blessed And we're in the city today Yeah, and we're going to find out from the people them And who are them favorite reggae artists You see what I mean? So no better keep it locked A Straight Buzz New York, of course And you don't know, as they get blessed How are you today? I'm okay Nice, and what's the name? Angelo Ooh, Angela, it's not like a Jamaica you come from. I am Jamaica. Which part of Jamaica? Stone. John Stone. 12. See it there? All right, all right. My question is who's your favorite reggae artist? Buju Banton. Oh, I'll be a Buju, so. Why Buju? I love Buju, man. I love Buju. I know Buju very much, though. Show a new Kingston. I would usually go watch him. Back in the days, we are young girl. I'm a young boy. Just come up. Yeah, so till now, anywhere to see a show there. Yeah. Come on, New York, anyway, they will find him, we'll miss him so bad. Find him? Mm -hmm. So, yes, uh, free at Bojo Bantan. Yeah, free Bojo Bantan. Alright. Bojo Bantan. Bojo Bantan. Why is Bojo Bantan a favorite? Because he's one of the greatest artists out there. He, in, in, you know, he speaks really true. His music is really true. Yeah. And, you know, he's a popular singer. Bojo. You know, say you're the third person to say Bojo. Bojo Bantan. Free, why Bojo? Bojo. All right, because you know, man, you listen to all of the other people them record them, like the Vibes Cartel, yeah. Party Man, Drugs Man, sometimes mostly slackness. You listen to the other version them, you know, they might talk about gun and mostly, most of them sound like hip-hop artists. Ah. You go back, Beanie Man, Beanie Man, to me, sell out long time. Bojo, Bojo are the only artist. Forget what I do with, with the drug business and get lack of her. But if you listen to all of the version them record them, compared to all of that version, I'm going to come around theme time. I'm going to say What's going on, brother? Yes, everything blessed. Blessed, blessed. What are your name? Peter. You're yeah, Peter from which are you forward from? Well, a Queens, Manhattan, Brooklyn, all about. Which island? Jamaica, Jamaica Street. Jamaica Street, man. Which part of Jamaica? Well, a puppy, you know. Big well, Papi, you know, watch yourself, you know. Because right. I mean, you know, the original tie, you know. See? All right, see. All right, my brother. And who are your favorite artists? Well, Freddie, Capitan, you know, Sis Line, you know, mm -hmm. Butcher, you know, big man. See. The man that hold it, so. Yeah. You know, Lucia, you know, you can't leave him out, you know. Yeah. I don't, uh, you don't know it going, you know, man. So, right, you know, say, Bob Marley are my biggest um, artist of all time, you see me? Yeah. King of reggae, cause him, him, my prophet and him a good singer from Wailing Wailers day, me a listening to Sir days, you know, so him are my favorite reggae singer of all time, you know. Street Bus New York, see it? So we talk to the people them, and we find out that Bojo Bantan is still current. Although him then a lock up, trust me, the people them say so Bojo Bantan are them favorite artists. So when I hear me, keep it locked right here. The viral success of a single Cucumber surpassed 43 million views on Facebook since its release. Cucumber. Vitamins, minerals, very high numbers. Silica, hair and nails get longer. Other vitamins make your bones them stronger. Anti-wrinkle make you look younger. Maccabee is a true global messenger for healthy eating, utilizing social media, YouTube for its medical Mondays, and Wami Eat Wednesdays. And green algae. Fans came out to Queens for Veggie Castle's live remote session with Irish Jam Radio. Right off of the Van Wick. Just like two blocks from the Van Wick and we're in Queens, New York at the Veggie Castle. And Veggie Castle is always a place where if you've never been to the Veggie Castle before, you definitely need to come check it out because we're talking about strictly vegetarian because as the man said, ital is vital. We don't hear this kind of lyrics anywhere else in reggae music right now. What's the inspiration? Yeah, well, I just seen it. The album is called Health is Wet. Right. And it's not all of the album is food related, but it's nutritional, it's educational, it's social and it's cultural. Kukumba. You may wonder. Kukumba. Alright. Oh we go. Vitamins, minerals, very high numbers. Silica. 
your nails get longer. And a vitamin make your bone them stronger. Anti wrinkle make you look younger. Ninety five percent water. Kidney cleanser, great hydrator, detox fiber, good regulator. Give your body good things. No be a Hi. Hi, I'm Jackie. I'm from what Queens, New York. Um, I came here to see Maka B because I've been following him for a few years now. I, I found him on YouTube one day. I was looking to see if there was any uh, vegan reggae out there, and I found his song, What We Eat, and uh, I've been following him ever since then. Greetings. We're here with Come Chat With Me TV with a famous artist going by the name of Maka B. Maka B, how are you today? Blessed love, Empress, and good. Give thanks. Yes, you are very good. 30 years in the business, I understand, and a lot of hit records under your belt. What are you working on now? Yeah, we've got the brand new album, Health is Wealth. It's on the Green Sleeves and VP label, you know. It's on all formats, um, download, CDs, and vinyl as well, you know. Mm -hmm. So tell me what's special about this newest album of yours. Well... Maccabee has suddenly become like a viral, you know, social media star, you know. Yeah, you know, I noticed, I think you have over 400,000 followers, maybe more than that, on the social networks. Facebook, yeah. I got that on Facebook, 150,000 on Instagram and lots on Twitter, you know. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is to do with um, these posts that I've been doing about what we eat Wednesdays, encouraging people to have vegan meals and medical Mondays, telling people the medicinal values of fruit and vegetable. And people just gravitating towards it, you know, and feeling the vibe. Well, I've always been into health, you know, like from I was 16, I stopped eating meat, you know, so I started to think about the animals and all those kind of things and what it's doing to my body. Stop the fish, stop the dairy products and become full-fledged vegan and ital, you know, so... I see the benefits that it's done for me, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to pass on those benefits to people. There's a few health songs, there's Health is Wealth, which is a taiko track, there's Kukumba, you know, which went viral, yeah. There's Wami Eat remix, telling people all the, the things vegans can eat, you know. But there's also, there's also a track called Lyrical Chef, where I'm saying that I'm a, I'm a chef, but with my lyrics, you know, I cook up the lyrics and, and season up the melodies and those kind of things, with, you know. And there's some social commentary on there as well, you know, and there's conscious style on there, you know, so yes. it's, it's, it's Maccabee, you know, the full Maccabee spectrum. Thanks for watching Come Chat With Me. See you next week. Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks to all my fans for having tuned in to the undercover boss series that was some experience it was certainly it was amazing um, it was 150 hours over a 10 day period uh, can you imagine no cell phones nothing no communication and and just being away for 10 days from my family and business but it's an experience that i would not have traded for anything else in this world simply kills